Another injection that I was always a little bit slower to do when I got out of school is the nasopalatine block here, which is right at the front. So the nasopalatine nerve is one that comes uh, out from the incisive foramen here. And you'll see this little bump here, the incisive papilla, right in behind the front teeth. That's typically where um, you're aiming for. So you're going to be right at the distal most point of that would be your insertion site. So you want to go there in about 10 millimeters most times for most patients. That's about a centimeter in. Um, and you want to contact the bone and then withdraw just a little bit. So you're going to come out maybe about a millimeter just to be sure that you're not depositing subperiosteally. So the purpose of that injection um, would be if you're doing extractions up here. So say so you're taking out these front six teeth, that's a situation you might run into. Um, maybe you're doing some <clears throat> restorative work, like some crowns on these front six teeth here or more, but um, it'll anesthetize all of this palatal gingiva from canine to canine uh, when you do this block. So very effective block, way better than say doing, you know, infiltration, 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 right? So it's four injections to kind of numb everything versus just one time. So even though it's uncomfortable for patients, we can do some things to minimize the discomfort and then hopefully save them three other palatal injections. So we placed our topical in by the incisive papilla and basically left that for two minutes. And then what we want to do is we want to apply our pressure with our cotton tipped applicator again close to our insertion point which is going to be the distal edge of that uh, incisive papilla. So again we're going to go about 20 to 30 seconds of pressure here. Just helps to further I guess kind of numb the area or make it feel less of the needle penetration. And then we're going to go ahead uh, with our 27 short and uh, insert for the injection here. So again, what we'll do is we'll stabilize on the patient. So typically I'll put my finger on the chin. Uh, we'll be in kind of resting like this so we're nice and uh, firmly resting there. We'll roll back here a little bit. And we're going to insert right in behind that papilla. Again, we're going to kind of bow the needle a little bit here. We're going to go in through here again, sorry there. Patients will feel these ones a fair bit. We're going to be now injecting. Once we've contacted bone, again, we're going to pull back from the bone, if you remember, about a millimeter. And you'll start to see the tissues blanching here a little bit, which is a good sign. And we can always aspirate, check how we're doing. We typically maintain pressure with the uh, cotton applicator for a little bit here during the injection. And then I'll often release that as well just to allow the anesthetic to kind of further make its way along under the tissues. So again, depending on the procedure you're doing, um, you're going to want to put a reasonable amount of anesthetic here. 0 0.6 mils is reasonable, 0 0.9 mils often would be better if you're doing prolonged procedure or some extractions. And again, you notice how basically the area is blanching here and it's kind of starting to spread out. Now this again will anesthetize right up to the edge of these canines. And that lingual tissue. Great. Now let's draw the needle, rinse up for the patient, and we're good to go.